welcome to FIFA with a touch of class. If you are new to the channel, hi, hello, I am Emma Chu. Um, and every Wednesday we upload a video of me just vlogging my life as an entrepreneur and teacher and fitness instructor and, and, and. Um, but yeah, hang on, I got pull up. So I'm currently in the Dunkin' drive-thru picking up a drink. Um... And then I gotta go get some stamps from the post office because y'all, it's Christmas week. I gotta get uh, little stamps because I have not mailed out anyone's Christmas cards. I got everyone's Christmas cards ready to go, but I don't have stamps. I went to the one downtown, which I live in like a historic downtown is where I live, of uh, my part of the town. And like, they're like, Oh, we don't take card and I'm like oh okay sorry and then like they gave me an attitude of go somewhere else and I was like oh okay so that was last week's little fiasco I didn't talk about that last week's episode but yeah so I'm like I'm going to a different post office I think we got like three here in town pulling up again um but so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the stamps and then finally take care of all the mail mail it out get it out in time for Christmas um Guys, I did not get to work out today. It's Thursday, by the way. I'm starting to record this. I did not get to work out uh, today. I usually do kickboxing on Thursday, and I already, like, agreed last night. Like, I ain't going in the morning, because I did not get back in town until, like, 1 a.m., because I had to drive out of town to do my temple work. And then afterwards, I had to go take care of some stuff, some last-minute Christmas shopping. And after I was done Christmas shopping, it was already, like, 10 o'clock at night. And that was in Vegas, so Arizona time, like, right now we're on a different time. So I did not get home till like, almost 1 in the morning, my time. Pulling up again. So that was this week, um, so far. But this upcoming Sunday and Monday is Christmas Eve and Christmas Day! Hey guys, it is, uh, what day is it? Friday. <laughs> so I'm on winter break from teaching school. So I'm very just like, ugh. Um, but I'm just getting ready this morning because I have to do a lot of cooking. And yeah, but right now I gotta do my makeup. Me and mom are doing some stuff today. Taking care of some errands to run. I know right now she's running some errands with my grandmother. They're out and about taking care of some stuff just because I'm like it's Friday I took this Friday off from teaching the gym classes because I am exhausted and it's Christmas weekend so everyone's gonna be out being crazy so I don't want to go if I don't have to this kind of what it turned into today my mom was like hey are you taking me no <laughs> So I like to apply the e.l.f. Uh, what is it I use? E.l.f. Blemish Control and Face Primer. Because it helps my skin from breaking out. And I like to apply it with my hands. However, sometimes it's a nightmare because my hair starts getting like in the play with it. And I need to try this again. And there we go. So this top I actually got from Macy's. It was on sale. And I got so excited I found it because I needed I need more long sleeve tops. I have like no long sleeves. So to finally find a long sleeve that had the bow on the neck was exciting for me. It is the CC brand over at Macy's. I've come to love uh, CC's because they have bows on like everything and I'm like very big time the type that wants an outfit that stands out. Like I don't want anything crazy but I do want it to stand out. Like, I don't want a feather dress, you know, or something like that. But I do like the bow because it kind of, like, emphasizes people looking going, Oh my god, how cute are you? You know. Even when I do my makeup, like, I need something that stands out when I do my makeup. And what is that? My eyeliner. A lot of people don't do their eyeliner like I do. Like, they do the little flick, but I like to do a giant join together flick.
And that's for now that my primer and foundation are done, I'm now going to add some concealer. After I get the sleep out of my eyes. Okay. So I bought like a giant thing of concealer and I don't even need that much. I barely use any. But hey, you know what? You use it anyway, so might as well buy it. The big one since you know you're going to use it. I've always liked applying concealer under my lip because it feels like it makes my lips look a little more puffy, the bottom lip. I don't know why, but it's like, I already got like puffy lips, but it's like doing concealer under it makes it like show off that I got some lips. You know what's funny is I know how to use a lot of this makeup, except one thing I don't know how to use, bronzer. And I'm not saying I'm a professional or anything, I'm just like saying that like it amazes me. Like I know how to use primer, foundation, I know how to use um all of it. The eye makeup, even eye primer makeup. But yeah, I don't know how to use bronzer. I know how to use highlighter just right, but I do not know how to use bronzer at all. And like I've had people be like you do your makeup so good. What kind of bronzer do you use? Uh, I don't use any bronzer. I tried bronzer when I was younger. And I hated it because, like, I felt like I applied it too dark. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and clean some of this up and I'll be back. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. Okay. So now I'm going to go on ahead and apply some powder to my face. Uh, I just want to point out that everything I use on my face is Clinique except the primer is uh, e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I'm trying to think all my primer and eyeliner and all that, well not the eyeliner but all my makeup you're going to see me using today is available at uh, Ulta and Macy's. Uh, most of it I bought from Ulta except for the foundations. Okay, so that's another thing about me. My foundation and concealer and all that I have to buy online, special order it from Macy's because no one carries my shade in Clinique. <laughs> I hate that sometimes. Sometimes I hate that I'm Irish, well, part Irish, which, if you're new to the channel, yeah, so, I'm a perfect 50-50 mix, <laughs> so, I mean, no one's exactly 50-50, but I have a lot, mostly, of um, Irish on my mother's side, and then Brazilian on my dad's side, so that's always interesting. People talk about what a weird combination that is. But anyway, so obviously because I'm Irish, I'm super pale and it's hard for me to find my foundation as a color. So I had to like special order foundation. And the one I get is custard with a yellow base because if you go to the store to buy it, it's always a pink base. And pink bases always make me look like I've been out dancing in the sunshine. <laughs> like I just turn immediately pale red on my face and I'm like, oh, this don't look good. That was awesome. It's still good. It's, it's still good. I mean, some of it fell off. I'll clean that up in a second, but it's still good. Anyways, that is one thing I love about the Kylie Cosmetic uh, lipstick is like it, the lip liner is a sharpener, so if it falls, no problem. However, I do prefer twists. Sometimes if you drop a twist, it breaks. So, oh, this color like really brings my skin tone together. So, if you're new, 
One thing I like to do for my eyeshadow, just because I love to match my lipstick to my eyeshadows, I straight up just use my lipstick. So I just do a couple little dabs. And I grab my brush, get my hair on my lips, and then just work it around. I mean, look at how good of a perfect match that is. And I don't know why, but I've always loved like the little reach out, like a cloud reaching out eyeshadow look. Like people do like tape to get like this perfect shape. And I'm like, nah, I want like a fog machine on my eye. <laughs> like, I love that cloudy look. I don't know. I always love the cloudy look on my face. On my eyes. Not face. That'd be an interesting foundation vibe, though. This one's a little crooked. Okay. Clean up some more. So that's how I also I set up the bathroom when I'm doing my makeup. This side is like what I still have to put on. This side is what I don't need anymore. This side of the counter is a lot smaller, though. So anytime I place something over here after so much stuff, I'm like, okay, gotta clean up. Come back in, use some of the stuff over here. Okay, gotta clean up. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm letting my lipstick dry up on my eyes because I don't want the eyeliner to like mess it up. I am going to be putting on some highlighter. It's the Kylie Cosmetics uh, highlighter by Kylie Jenner. It's um, Kylighter. It's highlighter, but highlighter. And I always add a little bit to the nose. I love to put highlighter on my nose because I have such a tiny nose. So I like to put a little bit of highlighter on there to like kind of make it stand out a little bit. And I feel like it gives me like that uh, Cindy Lou Who look to my nose, like a little Who in Whoville. Just my personal opinion. I don't know. And now for my eyeliner. This is like one of my favorite eyeliners in the world. Not my number one favorite, but I love the uh, Kylie Cosmetic Kylie Liner by Kylie Jenner is what it's called. Um, <clears throat> I just really like this eyeliner a lot. However, it does take a long time to dry. That's my only thing I don't like. I keep having hair fly in my mouth. <laughs> Not in my mouth, on my lip. Um, my second favorite, however, is the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D. But, per but specifically, the travel size, because the big ones dry out so fast, the travel size managed to like last longer for me. I don't know about anyone else out there, but like it's like every time I buy the big ones, they always are dried out within a day. Meanwhile, I have some from two years ago that are travel size and they still work. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut this part out just because I need to like step into the other room to put on my eyeliner. Okay, I got my eyeliner on. It just takes forever to dry, so I got to stand here and fan it. <clears throat> I'm going to actually go grab my perfume that I'm planning to wear today while it's drying. So, I just got to decide what perfume I want to wear. So, the perfume I have decided to go with is Daisy Skies by Marc Jacobs. Um, this was like the first, no, second Marc Jacobs perfume I ever got. The first one I ever got was uh, Daisy's Oh So Fresh, which that's probably my number one favorite perfume of all time. I'm going to be honest, I've never not liked a perfume by Marc Jacobs. I actually had a joke with my mom just the other day. She was saying, you know, I don't know what perfume to get you because I need to know your, like what scent you prefer, what scent smells good on you, what do you like? And I was like, anything by Marc Jacobs. And she's all, but what if it doesn't smell good? And I was like, all of Marc Jacobs smell good and I, for some reason, can pull off any smell. <laughs> and she's like, okay. So she bought me a bunch of Marc Jacobs one year for Christmas and like all of it I loved and every single one I put on. She was like, oh my gosh, that smell does match you. Like, because I'm weird like that. I need the smell to match my personality, my, uh, even like perfume. There's like a whole scientific hygiene thing of like how the chemical balance works, blah, blah, blah. And so like my mother would like 
always does smell my hand whenever we'd go to the store. And she's like, every single one of these smell good. And I was like, I know. And uh, just the other day, I was joking with her about when people ask you, do you have a favorite scent? I'm just going to start answering, Marc Jacobs. If it's Marc Jacobs, it's my favorite. <laughs> so, but yeah, this was the second perfume I ever got by Marc Jacobs that I love. Oh, so fresh. Okay, my eyeliner should be dry. Before I put on mascara, I like to put on setting spray. The reason I like to put on the setting spray before the mascara is because every time I put on mascara and then put the setting spray on, my mascara like gets all sticky and then my mascara runs. Don't know how it is with this mascara that I have, but this stuff I love. It's great, but mascara tends to run with it. <laughs> And then last but not least, my mascara. I save my mascara for the very end just because of the setting spray that I do. I got Kylash. I want to know, like, why does Kylie Jenner put, like, Kylie before everything and then whatever the product is? Like, just call it Kylie Cosmetic, like, mascara. I'm sorry, but that's, like, my personal thought. But it's all so good. Like, this is my second tube I bought of the mascara. I bought one to try because everything by Kylie Cosmetics is perfect in my opinion. I started with the lipsticks, got a bunch of them, and then she started coming out with the eyeliner. So I bought eyeliner, mascara, you name it, I bought it. And this is like one of my favorite makeup brands. This and Clinique is my two faves. And this is the final look. Um, so yeah, it's mostly Clinique and Kelly Cosmetics on my face, and then e.l.f. primer, then Urban Decay spray. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about the setting spray. The setting spray is by Urban Decay. I got this years ago from Sephora. Um, yeah, I love it so much, but that's my makeup for today. So I'm going to go ahead and go take care of some of those errands. I might even get me a lemonade from Dutch Bros. I have not decided yet. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm in the car getting ready to take stuff around town. It's getting ready to rain, but I'm going to take stuff around town. I got like little goodies, you know, and treats to deliver to a lot of different friends of mine. So I'm just going to be driving all over town delivering those saying Merry Christmas. Um, some people are just getting like a little plate of goodies. Other people are getting a pumpkin roll. Other people are getting just some stuff. Just something I love to do for the holidays. Hey guys, it is, what is today? Saturday, day before Christmas Eve. So Merry Christmas Eve Eve. Um, I went around and delivered the last bit of goodies around town to friends of mine. Um, and now I'm just chilling at home playing The Quarry. It's a horror game about a bunch of kids at a camp. And I'm not going to lie, I love this. I'm definitely going to play it on the channel one day. But real quick, I have something funny I want to talk about that I'm going to show you in a second. But basically what's going on today is I'm just playing this game because my grandmother and mother are out in Blythe visiting my great-grandmother and all the family out there. So yeah, that's today. I'm just playing games with Grandpa, like coming in and out of the house, hanging out a little bit. So yeah. So yes, I have to start off in my mother's room for this story because I got to show you something that's in my mother's room. Um, so on Black Friday, I bought a TV that was supposed to go in my room because my TV, I need a new room in there. I'm redoing my bedroom again, which I will show you that whole mess in a second. And so because of the process, it's been causing me to like chill in my mom's room and spend nights in here and in the living room back and forth. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all this. How nice is this TV that was supposed to go in my room? I got a 50 inch flat. Because the last TV I had was only like a 20 inch. Well, I think it might have been 30. But still. Uh, so, this is what I got for my room. It's a smart TV. And the reason I wanted one for my room is because I hate the, the smart TV I did have. And Grandpa needed a two new TV for out in the garage. So, we went on and gave him the TV that was in my room. And I bought this for my room. Look at how lovely the TV is in my room. <laughs> so, yes, it is a huge mess in here. 
because I am remodeling everything. So like everything's out on the floor. I even got stuff for the gym because in the new year I'm starting a pound class. So I needed mats to put down on the floor. There's Banff stuff everywhere. So excuse the mess. But we're trying to like downsize everything. And I'm still going to keep my little nook in the corner. But we've been having to like use that to store stuff right now until we can get some stuff taken care of. I'm bringing a real bed in here. That's going to stay up forever. Um, but yeah, so now I gotta get a TV for in here. And the reason I gave the TV to my mother instead is because I was chilling in her room and her TV was broken because the remote would not work. The screen was starting to black out. The audio was messed up. So I went out and gave her my TV and I decided I'll just buy another one for my room whenever I get a bed in here and get everything organized and ready. So it's gonna be a while until there's gameplays. So we won't be able to have gameplays for a while, but maybe... Hopefully, soon we'll have gameplays. Um, maybe I can do a couple in my nook. I'll clear it out and do a couple in my nook. I call it a nook, even though it's a bed. Uh, well, it was a bed, I should say. <laughs> but uh, I still got my clothes here hanging. Um, so my closet is still in here. My shoes we stored in a different area. My nook is still available. I need a TV in here figure out how to get rid of some of the stuff and where to put some of the stuff that's in my room. Another thing, I was talking to my family, telling them, I think I have a favorite game company or a favorite story style. I don't know, but I need to show you this real quick. I don't know how well y'all can see the screen, but we got the quarry, qu quarry, sorry. And then we got Until Dawn. The Dark Pictures Anthology, Little Hope, Last of Us, The Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Madon, and Uncharted. So this is an account I have for me to play games that aren't going to be on the channel just because I want, don't want this game's memory, this account's memory I should say, to be on that game's memory, blah 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 blah, have to restart, things go wrong, whatever. Um, I want like the full experience of first time playing it through under the gaming account, which I believe is just straight up called Emma Chu Gamer. Is what that account's called, where this one's called Emma Chu 03, which good because that was the original name of the channel. But I had no idea how to use the PlayStation uh, accounts. But yeah, so the best part is I have some of these games listed, and there's still more that I haven't played yet, such as House of Ash. Or Ashes. I don't know. It's been a while since I played it. It's not on here because I wiped the memory of my game stations whenever I was uh, restarting over and everything. So, yeah. But I'm going to be honest. This is the first time I've ever played The Quarry. And I'm already pretty far through. I believe I'm like halfway through the game, I think. I don't know. Don't know. Hey, guys. It's Sunday and Christmas Eve. Um, I'm currently in the middle of doing my makeup, getting ready to uh, head out and grab me a drink because I got a bunch of gift cards for Christmas, one of which being Starbucks, and today they're having a, a deal of spend $6 or more and get 30 bonus points, and I love building up the points to get freebies in the future, um, but I gotta finish up my makeup and then go take care of that, and then me and my family are going to church. Well, I, I say family, but it's me and my mom are going to church. <laughs> Hey guys, once again, I'm in the bathroom. Um, it's the day after Christmas. Christmas is finally over. Me and my family clean up the whole entire house now. Um, I'm starting to get sick again, in case you can't hear it. Um, it's not so much I'm sick, it's my allergies. But guys, I just came to like a realization while wrapping up. Um, <laughs> This is the last video of the year. And as you know, I like to take a little break. Um, so I'm not going to be gone, but I am going to be taking a break for a while. It's our usual break. I don't upload for the month of January, but I come back in February. And I just want to say I really appreciate all my viewers and all my fans who watch these videos and set the reminders to get on and be able to be one of the first viewers. I apologize about my messy hair. I literally just woke up from a nap. I'm so tired. I took a nap and then I 
got back up and now my hair is a mess. <laughs> um, but basically today I'm just watching movies with my grandparents and my mother. Right now we're watching The Batman. And I'm going to introduce them to some other superhero movies they haven't seen yet. Um, but yeah. I look forward to seeing you all in 2024. And once again, I appreciate all my fans that tune in and watch. And I appreciate the subscribes and the likes that you put on these videos and the comments. I just look forward to getting every week from you guys. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, please do. Remember, as always, I am a YouTuber for now. Peace out, everyone. Slime.